Greetings and welcome back to Lords and Villains. I'm Catherine of Skye and we enter in at nightfall on our little village. Uh, well, actually, morning is just broken. Never mind. <laughs> Things are happening. I promise. <laughs> Things are occurring. So anyway, we have people doing stuff as soon as they're going to make their tables. They're going to eat at the tables. And things are generally going pretty well. So I think today I would like to build our family manor. I would also like to build the inn because we can't get traveling uh, the caravans unless we actually have an inn. It's really important. And also my people, <laughs> the Lord of the realm has nowhere to sleep. This is not ideal. So let me go ahead. Um, I think we're going to put the Lord's estate maybe here. Let's try that for now. Uh, however, I also would like to have maybe a road going through here somewhere. Or maybe we have it down this way. That could be a thing as well. Okay, let's do that. Let's do a dirt path maybe leading this way. Uh, that away? Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then we can put maybe the Lord's house here. That would be my house. Yes. All right. So I'm going to just start with walls here. We're going to go with wooden walls because that is the material we actually have right now. We don't have any others. I'm going to pause the game. It's really easy to play, much easier to play the game when paused because of... Um, because they can start building stuff. And if you want to clear the inside easily without having to wonder and wait for them. Yeah, it's easier to do it that way. Anyway, um, I would like to, let's see, how do we want to design this? I think we can have the door there. I think we'll go with a heavy door. It's five planks, might as well. And we want to have maybe the kitchen over here-ish. And then maybe some bedrooms over there. Seems good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave some space around this place. So one, two, three, four is a minimum size for a bedroom, I think. So we'll leave five so that we can have a, a little like a shelving or something there. And then here will be our kitchen. One, two, three, four on the inside and there. Okay, I think that's gonna be our initial house. Go ahead and salvage these items right here. And maybe I will build a, a wall in my bedroom. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that can be there. We then have this like large room. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out something to do with it. We'll put the door right here. All right, and then that's going to be my group settled. Now, we don't have any children in the Lord's family yet, or the Lady's family, I should say. Uh, but we are going to give ourselves an absolutely exquisite double bed. So we'll put this over here, and then maybe we'll put in... Uh, what What is inaccessible? Show me. Show me. Hello? What's inaccessible here? I don't understand this. Um, oh, it looks like I've, I missed a farming plot as well. Let's put one over here. Unless that's what's inaccessible. Could be. Could be that there's some weirdness going on there. I don't know. All right. People are still building. They're doing their things. I also need to make a kitchen because uh, the royal family also needs to eat. So we'll start as I usually do. I like to just have a pattern of what I'm going to do here makes things a lot easier. Uh, if I can find what I want. There we go. Ground storage. So I want to line it up on this wall and that wall. So that's that. I also can put in maybe be fancy bookcase, cabinet, shelves for a few snacks. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Um, but I do want to put in, let's just start with the regular stuff that we normally have, which is going to be the block, the wooden block to chop the firewood. Really important. Then we go cauldron. Then we do cooking table. By the way, if you put in these other things like a butcher's table or brewing station, your people will not know how to use them. They will have no clue. So uh, I think that it's just easier to follow the recommendations on the uh, zone areas that will tell you what your people can use and not use most of the time. Now, having said that, I don't know if my people can actually churn butter from milk. 
I don't know, but I think the most of the other things they will not use. They just won't use it at all. All right, let's go back to our storage thing and we'll put in some shelves here. We're gonna get barrels, a couple of barrels for food and a chest. Actually the chest can be, oh, well, I wanted to put it in there. Let's take out the midnight snacks. <laughs> let's take out that and put a chest there and have the chest. The money in the bedroom. Yes, that's even better. Lure people to the bedroom to kill you instead of the regular area. Never mind. It's just breaking and entering. We're not having killings happening. No, no, it's not a thing. I promise. Okay, so let's get some fireplaces out. Fireplace. We'll have them. Let's have one here. Oh, we also need one in here. Hmm. I think we need to make this room slightly bigger. Okay, uh, right, let's do that. Let's take this wooden wall and make it here instead. We'll remove these and we'll make that area slightly smaller because I definitely want to have a fire in this room. That's really important, especially if you have room divisions like this. Like if you have one big house, it doesn't really affect things as much. Uh, but when you have this kind of situation... All right, so there. Uh, I also want to put some candles in here because it's kind of nice. Why not? They have light. They bring light to your world. They are free to build. So that's nice. All right, so and we also get this tutorial on new families. So to attract more families, you need to build an inn. Uh, right now, we're kind of, yeah, stuck on families right now. The odd thing about the inn, though, is you have to choose a family to run the inn from your available families. So what I wanna do is I wanna choose a family that already has settled, they have their gold in one place and, uh, and go from there. Okay, nice. This is all working really nicely. All of the beds are getting sorted, all of this other stuff. Now I do wanna make a little town square area as well and maybe even expand our warehouse or at least change how uh, our, the floors are in the warehouse, as in maybe just fill these in a bit to make it square so that we know what the boundaries of the warehouse are. Those are kind of important. Now then here, I might want to make some kind of like village square. It's where people can kind of, they, uh, they sit around fires, they chat, they get to know each other, and eventually they can actually marry each other. So I want to get a zone here. Actually, you know what I want to get? I, let's see. Public area. There we go. So we have the public area, and it doesn't have to be very big. I usually like to do... I'm gonna actually going to do four or five. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Let's do that amount. Okay. And it shows you what they can kind of benefit from wooden benches, stone benches, and fireplaces. So I'm going to put in a couple of wooden benches. We could change them later. I'm going to make them like really close to fire pits because I know that they like to sit around said fire pits. So I'm going to do that. So we'll put a couple of fireplaces like here and there. And cold or warm air doesn't travel very far. Like in the winter, this is going to be a lifesaver for some people. I'm also going to put a well in here, maybe by the corner. Um, so in case people don't have a well, they can go and draw water to cook because they need that for cooking. So here we can see our farmers have been super industrious. They've been planting stuff. They. Well, this is interesting. I wonder if this is was the inaccessible stuff is having... Um, those areas for trees that have not been planted yet. Let me see if I can kind of fill those in a bit. Yeah, they, they do fill in. Okay. It's kind of weird that they were just like, nah, nah, just random stuff. Okay, inaccessible. Where? Where? Show me. I don't see anything inaccessible here. So I don't know what's going on there. But it does look like I need to move this thing. Because that's... Uh, what goes there? This was supposed to be the wooden block, I think. Hmm. I think it's disappearing stuff that's not accessible. I've never really run into this problem. It might be because I'm building too close to the water. I'm thinking that might be the case. All right, so let's do production. Let's get our wooden block over here. Because that's there's no way that should have a problem. Let's take this one out, though. I want to delete this item. And we're going to put a wall there and then instead we'll put our 
our ground storage like right here instead. And that should solve that issue. All right. In the meantime, we can, okay, so we got all the trees out of here. That's great. We can also set up an inn. And now an inn is kind of a weird place. They don't seem to need to like operate it like a normal building. But the function of the inn is to have um, some tables, some chairs, and they can drink beer and they can rent rooms. So you need beds in there as well. So you need lots of bedrooms. We can make it kind of a basic inn. So let's see, let's start off with just having a wall here and we can maybe build the basic structure of it. Uh, let's see, we can go all the way. I kind of want to have a, a road this way. So let's just have this in coming up like there-ish or something. Let's see, maybe the road goes there. Let's put in the road because it's really difficult to plan without a road. So let's just put the road there, say. All right, so let's get back to this inn. Let's go there and go, let's see, let's, let's go all the way to that road, say. And maybe our bedrooms are going to be on this side and the food is going to be here. So we can mark this out actually. So bedroom is one, two and space for a path, but then we might need a space for a fireplace as well. So let's put the wall for the bedrooms here uh, and see what we get up to with stuff. So let's put in, this is going to be a very nice inn. And we can kind of vary things a little bit if we want to. Now, the important thing about this inn is that we need to uh, have many beds because the different families that are going to visit us have multiple people in them. Uh, so we're going to have to get this going. So let's put a bed there and there, say. And maybe we put a, a small bed here like this. And I'll put a fireplace in the middle of the room there. And I think we'll have another wall. Let's do a wall here. So this is gonna be a five bedroom or five bed room. Yeah, five bedroom, hmm, <laughs> that works. Uh, and we can also actually have another bed here, I think, uh, another uh, small bed, actually. Oh, that's cool, yeah, let's do that. Let's do a regular wooden bed there, here, so. Yeah, they should be able to access that as well. This is actually a nice design for a room, I feel. So I want to build one more, um, except let's reverse it so that we have wooden bed here, double on this side, space there, and then double uh, facing the other way. Actually, it could be, no, it couldn't be smaller. I think it's it's that's the minimum size. Let's get our wall going on. Wooden wall here. Let's get the door. The door is here. Okay. Want to make sure that we're at minimum distance from there. You know, minimum needed. So that's leading into the bigger in room. But maybe we make this a hallway and another room here. That could be a good thing. Okay, let's get beds going still. So we need another small bed here, there, and then fireplace. Fireplaces are not going to make too much of a difference right now, but later in the winter time, your citizens can literally freeze to death. So yes, we need to kind of keep that, keep track of that. Uh, in this inn, let's edit the outside to be a little bit more in keeping with stuff. Uh, we have things, we need to have some cooking stuff. So we have a bar, cooking table, cauldron, well, all the cooking things, uh, but a bar is included. So that is something I'm going to add that, I think, in a bit. Mm, maybe we just keep this whole area as a regular inn. Let's just do that. Let's do that. Let's have them start building this. And then let's build our doors. Let's see. Where do we go? Walls. There. Wooden door. There. Go. There. Yay. Okay. Okay, hey, good. So as we can see, our wooden family, our <laughs> yeah, forest family is really working on stuff. They are building all the things because they got all the wood. Uh, everybody else is building a little bit with the wood that I've given them uh, for free in our market. Uh, so they're doing really well. 
You can see they're starting to plant some of the trees as well. So soon our markets are going to have more, uh, more uh, veggies from the farmer's market. Oh, the caravan, it has arrived. Ooh, look at this inaccessible structure. Where is that? Oh gosh. I don't know what they're trying to do. I really would. It, it shows like what they're trying to, oh, ah, that's because of this. Okay. We need to actually remove these trees from here. That's important. We need to remove those. Can't, uh, no, not, not cancel floors. Remove thingies. Let's take those off because they actually need to have access to the butter churn and to this um, uh, silo. Yep. Okay, let's see our caravan. All right, they have dumped their stuff here. Uh, so they have milk, clothes, crossbows, melons, parsnips, iron ore, silk, wood, yarn. I wish people would buy yarn. Uh, these people still have, I think these are no, they're actually, let me go ahead and make them some more nets because, uh, yarn vendors are really hard to find somehow. I don't know why, but they are. Yeah. So let's, let's hope they buy some yarn right now. So, so my thing is I can't actually buy anything from these vendors at all. I can't demand anything. I don't think I can demand anything. Can I? No, they're not on my list of demanding things. Uh, right. Yeah, you can't demand seizing anything. No caravan family. So I can't buy goods from that caravan. I am the Lord and I'm stuck with what my people make. <laughs> so this is, it's kind of an interesting, weird dynamic in this game. Uh, oh, I forgot. Oh, geez, of course. I keep forgetting to delete these items in the structure. That's uh, one of my failings, apparently, is that I forget to do that. But let's just take everything else out. There we go. Okay. And we also want to salvage this thingy. We'll leave the tree. It's fine. Tree is fine. Oh, 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 look, look. Okay. Look at this. So Maribeth Fiennes, uh, fi financing is the caravan people. Relocating an animal. What is she bringing? It's a sheep. Oh, oh, that's nice. I'm hoping my family comes and buys that sheep. We'll see. So one thing, is, oh, there's another sheep there. Cool. So one thing you can do with farming is create pens with uh, fencing and stuff. However, I found that if you fence them in, they need to eat and they can eat you out of house and home. So I tend to let them roam and they kind of roam all over the colony. So it's okay. It's just fine. It's fine. So yeah, we don't worry about that too much. We kind of ignore that problem. Uh, but you can fence them in and that actually is a good idea because right now they have also introduced uh, species like uh, bears and wolves and things. You can find them walking around, not in this part of the world evidently, but in other parts. Oh, there's deer for hunting. You can have a hunter profession. Um, I don't see any right now. Sometimes you'll have like whole troops of bears that move in and they can attack your livestock and or your people. So that's a bit scary. Oh, here's our wonderful bed. We have nothing else, but we do have a bed. Perfect. It's wonderful. Yay. <laughs> so we still have wooden planks. I'm not really sure why we are not building those things. I think we're trying to build this in. That's what we're doing. But yeah, this has actually ended up being kind of a pretty place. Okay, so this is the caravan vendor. They are selling a whole bunch of stuff. Here's our vendors. Now the game is set up so that... Uh, our, our people prefer to buy from uh, locals. So they're going to try to put money into the local economy before giving it to the vendors. So did we buy one of these? Yes, we own that sheep belongs to the family of Ballard. Yay. Okay. So we own at least one sheep. That's nice. How about you? Are you ours? Yeah, you're ours too. All right. We have several sheep now. Okay. We didn't buy the third sheep yet. But it's so strange, this game, how it works. Like you, you have no direct control over anything, really. You just have to hope that they're going to go and buy a sheep. So, all right. So as soon as we get our walls completed, we're going to start working on the floors, I think, of stuff. And our inn is existing. So that's good. Let's see, this is one wood, one plank. Um, right now, our people are building it. What I think I might do is I might have the, um, this, the, our tree family own this place because they can build it faster. 
Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to give it. So what's happening is because this is not owned by anybody, it our, uh, the royal family is currently building it. So we're going to give it to these people and they can build it. And yeah, we're just going to put it there. And they do actually get money from owning the inn. So later on, maybe we give it to a different family to run. It's not a lot of money, but they get some. They also consume uh, products that we can uh, build or, or get. Uh, if you look in the menu here, we have a kabillion different things. So I'm going to go over them. So we have farmland. This produces a kabillion things, mostly just food, uh, straw and grain. Uh, we have the royal forest, which is wood and some food items. Fishing is, of course, fish and they consume yarn. That's important. So we're starting to see a consumer here. Bakery. They consume flour and firewood and they produce bread. So where do they get that? They get it from the windmill. So the windmill, so we have farmland produces grain, windmill consumes grain, produces flour, bakery consumes flour, produces bread. And they also consume firewood, which of course you can just build a chopping block. So they use wood. The hunting area, they consume nothing, produce nothing. Wow, really? I thought they produced some kind of, I'm pretty sure they produce some kind of meat. I'm not sure though. Um, then butchery, they uh, go randomly hunting for animals out in the wild. So they consume meat and they produce sausages and hides. Tannery consumes hides, produces leather. Leather workshop consumes leather and they produce a bunch of armor and boots. Boots uh, are, they, they wear stuff. Our colonists wear things. If we look at the villagers book, we can see what our people are wearing. They're wearing uh, just basic clothing to start off with. They have a head slot, body slot, feet, uh, and then something else. These are, might be weapons. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, they have these different items. You can see some of them wearing a hat, some boots. Obviously, uh, the Ballard family has gone shopping, probably at the trader because right now we don't have anybody who makes clothes in our building or in our uh, colony. But those items, they also wear down. You probably saw them uh, going down over time. They had a little health bar on the items themselves. Okay, so we have a bowyer's workshop. They consume planks, yards, yarn, and steel rods to produce bows and crossbows. So far, by the way, there is no kind of like... Uh, war in this game, but they do produce products that the caravans can and will buy. Taylor's Workshop, they consume wool, uh, which is important. That's why we bought the sheep. They produce clothes, fine clothes, capes, ropes, yarn, and silk. They produce yarn and silk, and they consume yarn and silk. Important to note that. Rope Mill, uh, they consume yarn to make rope. The brewery consumes straw and hops and firewood and planks. They produce beer barrels and hops. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. They, they grow the hops and they consume them as well. And they, I, yeah, they produce the beer barrels, which are needed at the inn. So mining field, now we get into the mining bits. You set them up near these like big hill things They or brown patches, just it could be a mountain or it could be a strip mine. Who knows what it is? Mining fields are stone, limestone, iron ore, copper, silver, gold, and coal. Uh, masonry are the people who cut the stone. So they buy the stone from the miners and they uh, produce stone blocks, tiles, limestone blocks, and limestone tiles. Those are different kinds of like floors. This is limestone tile. This is regular stone tile. And this is stone blocks. So there's different kinds of things. Same thing with the walls. They also are stone blocks or uh, these are bricks. We also have other fences, steel rod, wood, stuff and stuff. Okay. We'll go back to the zones. Uh, so anyway, so we have mining and masonry. Furnace uh, uses that iron, copper, gold and stuff, and they make it into other stuff gold ingots and stuff. You can use some of those to make some of the fine furniture that we've seen. And they also make the bricks. And then we also have a forge. They consume steel rods, steel ingots, steel plates to make armor bits and tools and yeah, spears and things. So we have many, many professions and each family has only one profession. So you can imagine this entire map covered with different houses and workshops and things and stuff. Uh, it's going to be kind of a busy place. 
really busy place. All right, so I am not going to offer any more stuff for free because the, um, the Forager family is well up and running. They are offering tons and tons of goods here. They have wood. Are they gonna, are they, anyway, I don't know. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff that they can offer right now. So let's see, uh, looks like the Fisher family is doing pretty good. Kind of wanna extend this path across here and maybe give them some pathways in between their barrels and stuff. This is looking good. We have the fruit trees. Oh, that's nice. It's gonna be great when they get to blooming and, uh, and fruiting, yay. It's quite a peaceful game. I really like this game a lot. Let's see. We have now lots of uh, food items available. Uh, here we are selling wood rods. Are they selling anything else? One thing that might be occurring here, by the way, is that they can't sell anything else. Because remember, we have that very large Sokaj fee. Uh, and they've probably been using everything else to build up the other items that they need. So we might be running into a problem of that's why they don't have other resources is because they're using all of them themselves on their own house and on building the inn. Oh, 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 hello. Hello. Who are you? <gasps> Cat, female belonging to the family of Roke. Oh, hello. Oh, another cat, a male cat belonging to the family of Roke. This is something that the devs introduced in this update where families that are visiting, maybe in your inn, will uh, bring animals. They have either dogs or cats as pets. So they can visit and see, let's see, are these, well, this is the, this is the Catherine of Sky here. Let's see, Ava Roke, they are farmers. Oh no, I don't need any farmers. <laughs> no. So uh, yeah, they're not quite sleeping in the inn here yet, but we're gonna get it. I don't know why uh, my family members are not sleeping in their beds. This is very strange. Oh, oh gosh, because I didn't zone it as a, the manor. Yeah, that's necessary. Whoopsies. It's fine. Okay. So we can invite them to stay. They own animals, two times cats. Oh, sad times, but bye. Nope. I've learned to like not have that many, uh, not extra families, shall we say. Okay, so here's where our Sky family lives, right there in the manor of Sky. Oh, sad time kitties go away. So the families will stay if they like your place and they won't if they don't. So yeah. Yeah, rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use less wood and stuff for this uh, for this family, though they are working on the inn, of course, which is, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. But let's see, can we? Oh, they're building that wall. I'm gonna wait till they build that wall and then build some of the furniture in there. Chicken, hello. Chickens will continuously lay eggs in their beds. So we just build a chicken bed. Villagers keep a portion of the eggs to hatch depending on their limitations. Cool. So otherwise you can use eggs as food, of course. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this house because they have gotten to the, the naughty corners that we like to uh, finish with. Okay, very good, very good. These folks look like they're ready for a floor. So let's see, this is a fisherman's hut. What kind of, uh, maybe this oak wood floor, it looks kind of like a little bit distressed, kind of like old fishy stuff. Maybe we build these out of uh, this as well. We could also kind of build, maybe we build a boardwalk for them to kind of go along the shorelines to go and collect their nets. Looks like they did build all their nets, so they must have bought a ton of rope at the other place. Uh, this family, I think, is also ready to maybe get a wood floor as well. Let's see. Maybe... I like to make them kind of different. Let's see. We'll go with birch for them, I think. No, we won't. It's funny because birch is a very white wood. <laughs> so It's very strange. Okay, uh, let's do poplar instead. They must be dying their wood. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do the birch, the dark color for the forester people because it feels very cozy and dark wood and all that stuff. Oh no, I don't want to do this. Wait, wait. Remove plans. No, 
You don't get a floor until you supply everybody else. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Where are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, wait, wait. Something happened? Tailoring. Oh, tailoring. Yes. Oh, I want yes. Okay, so family size two. But they don't have any pets. Do we accept them? Hmm? I don't know. Sure, it's Emma and Simon. How could you reject them? Okay, so what's going on here? Oh. I guess they can't reach that wall until something? Maybe. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out these two wall uh, blueprints. Because I feel like they're having issues getting around them. So, all right. So Emma and Simon are our new tailors. So let's open the villager book and we can see them. They, uh, they end up at the bottom. You, well, actually, they can end up anywhere. Um, so we have these two. They're tailoring three out of ten, which is kind of nice. They have very little money. They just have ten meals and one gold. So they are very short on money, these folks. So our job is to figure out where they live. And I think we might build like a, a row of houses out here. I think this is enough in our inn. Uh, personally, I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and build a floor up here. And maybe this goes by the river as well, like just very close so that we can have a decently sized house over here. So let's go ahead and build a house. We'll just have like one square between them. It's very tight here. After all. And let's start out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. That's our standard kind of size, which I really like. I'm going to go ahead and do the salvage right now so I don't forget. There we go. And of course, walls will also delete anything in their way. Let's put in a wooden door. And in fact, maybe we make multiple houses like this. Uh, all right, so let's do a couple and that'll be a lot easier to get everything done. Maybe they even share walls. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there. Okay, so let's make three new houses. This is the way I tend to make uh, houses in town, by the way. It's a lot easier than doing one at a time. So what I usually do is I just go and grab like a ground storage, put it next to the door like I always do. Then we go to production, we get our wooden block, shove it there. Hooray. Now this is the kind of place that like maybe they go to the town well, or maybe we put a well over here that they can share, you know, like we can actually do that. So they don't have to have their own well. We can put a little public area out here. Um, maybe we add this whole, maybe we do this like section there or something. And we put in a, let's first delete all of this stuff, by the way. Let's delete all these things, the trees in here. And then we put in a fireplace, which is great if it's freezing outside, which it will be at some point. And then we put in a, wait, did that? Oh, I think I did. I think I clicked it there. Okay. And we put in a well. So we can take a well. So that is going to save these houses on needing a well. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is let's put in our uh, cauldron. They all need a cauldron. So this is thing block a cauldron. Then we have cooking table. So it saves them for stone, basically. Uh, and it also is kind of like a little bit more realistic. Like who has a well in the middle of their house other than like modern people? <laughs> this is a very strange thing. Uh, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign them uh, at different times and then we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get to there in just a second. Okay, so then we do our... I like to do the walls, the holding up the thing wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and here, and there, and it makes it easy. Boom. Okay. And we don't have full length here, but that's okay. It's all right. Uh, all right. So the next thing I want to do, let's put in our, so we don't have all of the storages in yet. We do have actually an extra space. So I'm going to put one of them. Let's put the shelves in here. 
uh, which is there. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, and then I want to put in our furniture. Let's just give everybody, we don't have any stone working yet, so we'll just give everybody a standard table. Okay, there. And again, you can just drag downward. Super, super easy. Wooden benches, that's there. there. Top side, bottom side, bottom side, top side, top side, bottom side. And then we do our wooden chairs. There we go. Okay, there's those. And then I'll put in my regular other storage things. I kind of usually like to line them up here because sometimes you might need this area for other things. So let's put in a chest first. Sometimes it's hard to see if there's like too many trees. And then a barrel. Oops, sometimes it doesn't click properly either. That's a little bit of a thing you have to watch out for. Barrel, and then we need a cabinet. That's for storing the clothing. Okay, so chest barrel, da, 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 da. I think we're actually good, and I think that's fine. So we have an extra spot there for whatever. Ah, the whatever. Actually, what we want to do, let's take off the chest. I, I decided I would rather have something else there. So we'll move the chest to the right there right by the door so the thieves can find it. No, there's no thieving in right now in the, in the game. Um, but we're going to put in, put in the fireplace there instead because it's very close to the center of the house. So it's a really good spot for stuff. Uh, and most regular businesses can fit in a place this size because you can also put their uh, stuff that they need on the bottom section, like the rope maker. All they need is a section that's long for rope and then they're good. Tailors are kind of the same. So I'm going to put one of the tailors in here. Now then let's get some beds going on. And I'm just going to put one right by the wall and one there. I think I like that. That's good. And then of course they can always be changed later if you want something different. Now then, um, all right, so what I'm going to do, what you can do is you can also have half a house in the household zone and the other half a house gets to be in a different zone. Oops, I don't want to, no, 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 do not, hey, okay, so let's cancel and then we do another one. I forgot to do the cancel part, cancel and then another one there, cancel. So now we have three different household zones and right now I'm really focused on my people building their own home. So I'm going to go into these zones and say, allow building off. So we're going to not build those. We are going to build this one. This one is going to be assigned to the Gerard family. Actually, what, what I, what I probably want to do is instead of giving them a household, I think what we're going to do instead is just give them the tailoring workshop because tailors don't tend to make a lot of money. So I'm just going to do their workshop here and they're just going to, it's going to be fine. So they need a few different items. I kind of want to, you know what? I want them to build their house before we build the spinning wheels and stuff because you can't see anything with all of this junk around. So let's go ahead and just give them two the Gerard family. And we're going to go ahead and tax them maybe 25%, I guess. Um, and then we're going to choose, let's go ahead and let them do stuff first. Let's like, they can at least clear the trees. That's nice. All right. Look at this, all the stuff happening. Oh, and uh, yeah, Royal family working, cutting down trees, making paths, all the things. <laughs> It's so strange. Oh, and they're sleeping on the ground. Sad times. Sometimes they'll actually go back to the inn and sleep. And I'm not sure why they're not doing that. It's probably because the inn is incomplete. Inn is incomplete. Nice, nice. Hey, works. All right. It's getting on till summer. It's uh, day of spring, 12th day of spring. Couldn't have done 12 days, could we? Maybe. Huh. All right. Well. Anyway, let's watch them do their thing. They're going to clear up stuff first. And while they're clearing up stuff, that's when we can actually build the other things. Because ideally, I like to have a little bit of extra space for beds. Because 
I think that uh, I do think that the devs have adjusted the birth rate of the game. I haven't seen any children born in uh, the other game that I was kind of practicing with. And I was like, OK, they used to happen all the time. OK, so anyway, um, yeah, we're going to get things going, but we'll go ahead and look at this. Let's see. We need a couple of things here. So loom spinning wheel and a tailoring workshop. So the loom, uh, or actually we start with the spinning wheel that processes the wool into yarn. Now the loom is where the magic happens because the yarn becomes silk. Wool yarn becomes silk. Hmm. I don't know if anybody even gets that. Oh my gosh. We have a mining family. Yes, we want them. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, we're busy. Um, all right. Anyway, and the tailoring workshop is what produces like clothes, fine clothes, cape and a robe, right? So we're going to go ahead and use, get the tailoring workshop and place it. I just want to have a bunch of items in this area. Uh, let's see what we can do is maybe do something like this and just use kind of more of the area here and we'll go ahead and do a loom on the other side. Oh, and the spinning wheel get, we also get to put on its side. Hooray. I love spinning wheels. They're so nice. I have, I have a spinning wheel actually. It's very nice to use. I also have drop spindles, which is, I'm sure you're like, what is she talking about? Of course, wool, wool turns into silk. Technically, <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, it's rough times. Um, all right. So mining family, what do we do about the mining family? I'm kind of thinking we could build them a house over here, maybe. Um, alternatively, they could have one of these houses that we already set up and we can move them here. Uh, and like they could just mine here in this central area. This actually might be a good area to get rid of, though. It looks like it's on the, um, what do you call it? That, that, uh, sandy ground, which is, I'm kind of like, huh, what do we do about that? I'm not really sure. Let's see what's inaccessible. Hello? Why is something inaccessible? I don't quite get this. Okay, that's uh, Fribois. You're still there? I'm wondering if like there's some issue here that they can't get out. I'm going to see if they can get out. All right. The Duraville family is still here. They are the miners. And what do we want to do about them? We could have them staying over here and they could mine this thing. That's kind of funny. They could live on the edge there is can they move no are they dying the cutting tree no all right i'm just gonna delete that bed for whatever reason they can't seem to move oh my gosh who's this dog oh they belong to the dervils oh how cute doggy hello doggo how you doing all right uh, i'm gonna have to move this bed i think let me just delete it so let's salvage this and I'll salvage that too and just see if they can get get along with this. So here we have this kind of edge area, big fallen tree. Oh, which maybe that's enough for a house. I don't know. I don't know. It could be okay. Uh, the miners, basically, they need a space to uh, hold the mining stuff, as in all the rocks and stuff. And I usually like to build it next to our, um, the other family. Actually, this, these two houses might be okay for this. Let's see if I have, let's, we need one thing. We need to make a bridge and that's very important. Let's see floors, bridgey, bridgey, important. We'll have it right from their door over to the side here and they can make this stuff happen. And what I'm going to do is build a mining area here. And the thing with mining, it is exhaustible as in they can mine each piece of rock. It says stone six, coal four. Uh, so they mine this stuff and then they, uh, oh, there's other stuff here. Look at this stone four iron ore. Wow. I had no idea that these different things meant different stuff and we can't see what's in the middle of the mountain, obviously, but we can actually tell them what to mine and what not apparently. So, uh, what I want to do is we can do a mining zone for them. Let's do that. Let's get mining. So you can kind of limit them in what they do by just kind of saying, uh, you know, mine half a mountain or not. Whatever. 
as in like I could cut off this part of it and just have half a half a thing but I'm not going to do that I'm going to just leave it now here I'm going to put in like I'm going to give them this as well this whole section there uh to store their supplies I'm going to let them store stuff here maybe there as well kind of yeah okay I'll just give them this whole thing there okay that's fine uh, and let them just store stuff. I'm going to go ahead and delete. Do I want to delete these trees? Maybe I'll delete these trees because I feel like that's the section that they're going to need to store stuff in. And we'll go ahead and put storage here. Basically, they use a whole bunch of ground storage. That's their thing. They use the ground storage and that's what they do. So I'm not sure. How, I guess they can walk over it. Let's see. If they have issues, they'll tell me about it. I'm quite sure. Okay. Oh, this is the wrong entrance, isn't it? Hello. All right. Whoopsies. I meant to do across from here because I forgot that this was spinning wheel family. So let's just fix that real quick. Let's do a bridge here. Okay. And then we'll do our dirt path here. They can still, it's okay. It doesn't matter if there's a bridge here as well. Not that they're going to need to use it much, but it's, it's there. It's fine. Okay. So that's pretty much it. We can look at the priorities here and you can see what they take out. I'm going to go ahead and put those on lower priority. The gold ore, I think we'll put that at one. I kind of want them to just get stone and limestone. Those are the most important, especially regular stone. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do in this mining field. And we'll go ahead and assign it to the family. So this is Durville. And we're going to take 25% of what you got. I think you're maybe 30%. Yeah, sure. We'll take, no, actually, we don't want 30%, I think. I think we only want uh, 20%. Let's do 20% because we don't actually have much that we can do with raw stone, I think. Uh, mostly we need to cut uh, at the masons, which we don't actually have yet. Okay, so let's see. Assign a family here. Let's take our Durville family. Fee farm. Sure. There we go. Okay. So they are going to be assigned here and they're going to do their thing. And unfortunately, that is all the time we have left. So anyway, uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.